and welcome back to Sussex Farm for episode 9 with me, Mr Sealy P. Okay, so as you've already seen, I have done enough logging. I've got 123,000 now in the bank. That will allow me to fill up the fuel tanker, um, which will cost me about 118,000, I think it works out at. Um, a few people are commenting still saying they can't sell fuel up at the airport. They're having trouble. They, they don't know how to do it. Um, you need, I mean, I don't know if this is the only one. It needs to be a dedicated fuel tanker. The fuel bowsers, I'll show you what I mean in game. Uh, I think it's in miscellaneous. Yeah, this one here is a fuel tank. Um, that one doesn't work, it won't unload there. Um, there's an, a couple of other modded ones. I can't remember what they are, I don't think I've got them installed. There's a couple of other, oh, yeah, there you go. The Joskin fuel trans, I don't think works either. That's, they're the small fuel bowsers there for taking around the map and filling out, up um, vehicles and things. Um, but if you download the liquid storage pack by BDBSSB, you get these two, the Garant multi-tank and the Garant fuel tank. The multi-tank won't work. It has to be the fuel tank. Although, weirdly enough, if you look at the Garant multi-tank, it does show a picture there at the bottom. It does say fuel. That one won't work for some reason. You need the dedicated fuel tanker. If you use the fuel tanker, it works no problem at all. Um, so that's what I've got here. So what I'll do now is fill it up. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Uh, I've got a speeding fine. I'll put it up on the screen in a moment. Come through from Sussex Police. Um, this registration number exceeding the 30 mile an hour speed limit through uh, the, the town along the Abbots Road. That would be that road there. Um, I'm going to take option one three points on my license a fine and some community service collecting litter the other option is for um, I think mowing the verges and all sorts of stuff so I'm going to take option one I'll put that up on the screen now so there yeah, there you go <laughs> so note to self no speeding through the town anymore or the village so what I'm going to do is fill this up We'll go up and sell it. Now I'm I'm thinking about trying out a hack and it's a, a minor one. I don't know if it'll work or not and it's a bit dodgy, it's a bit naughty. Is that actually sinking down on suspension as it's filling up? It is. Wow, that took nearly all my money. Okay, um Wow, that's amazing. Um yeah, hundred and eighteen thousand eight hundred that's cost. Yeah, and it's this. Because you can, every time you sell at the, the uh, airport, sell your fuel, the price will drop. What often happens in game when you get great demands or you get a good price on something and the fuel drops, if you save the game and you come out of the game and come back in again, the price resets itself. It's a bit of a dodgy, I know, but it does mean you could probably sell more in a 24, 48 hour, hour period than you normally would. I might give it a try at some point, I'm not going to do it this minute, but so that means if I sold the fuel now, 
I would have to probably wait 24 hours before the price resets itself and I get a good price again. If I save the game, come out and come back in again, my wonder is whether it would reset itself and I could make the same money again. I might try it, we'll see. Um, like I say, it's a bit dodgy, but... Anyway, so what we're going to do is get rid of this, make a bit of money. I need to buy a sugar beet cedar. I need to finish off the sugar cane seeding. And thanks to Chris, and I know there are a few other people that did comment to say this, if I do sugar cane pallets, which I did kind of mention originally, you can do it pallets all directly from a seed refill point. If you do pallets, it's a lot cheaper. So what I'm going to do is buy some pallets, refill using pallets for this last refill because it's run out again. Um, and a few people have said don't forget to keep some to one side like I said like sugar beet or potatoes but the thing about sugar beet uh, sugar cane is it will um, continue to regrow you'll lose 10% after three harvests isn't it you'll lose 10% for the ploughing but it will continue to regrow it's one of those crops so I don't know if I'd need to keep any but we'll see anyway so let's sell this see as long as we make more than 123,000 we've made money which we have done in fact we have 240,000 so we have doubled our money we've made hundred and roughly 120,000 117,000 on that so we now do have enough to buy another cedar so as I often do I'll park that up there turn the beacons off I will need that again at some point soon but over at the store what I have done is I've bought over the 8 wheeler, the 8x4 the man um, 37 yes the man 37 with the low loader and the bobcat I still need to trawl through if you were the person that, that offered me the, the bobcat in exchange for using the um, scorpion king thank you for returning the scorpion king I hope it was useful thank you for the bobcat um, I, I've trawled through and I can't find who it was that left me that message so if it was you let me know in the comments that'd be great so what I'm going to do now is buy some pallets of sugar cane and one pallet of fertiliser take that over to field 20 and load it up manually um, and see if it works out cheaper it should work out cheaper that's the whole point so if I go to pallets it cost me 20,000 to fill up with seeds. If I now go along to uh, sugarcane pallets, 1,290, they're 2,000 litres each. I need, oh no, I need 16,000 litres, don't I? That's eight pallets. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's seven hang on let me just check one two three four five six seven yeah one more <laughs> of course the delivery space is blocked right let's move one of these i will load this off screen because it will take me a while to put eight pallets on here i've just realized as well probably i'll get the bobcat on there but it, the cedar might load just by coming next to me oh, I don't know. I might need the bobcat, we'll see. Maybe I can double stack them or something. I'll, I'll think of something. Don't worry. I also thought about keeping one on the um, forks. And then if I strap that down, it will strap over the pallet and should hold the bobcat in place. Come to the you know. I know it's genius, isn't it? But it was just a thought. I'm trying to work out different ways to get this altar to be a more smooth process so if I take that one as well down it should be fine
doesn't matter if it's not on there perfectly. Still find this bobcat far easier to manoeuvre than I do the uh, JCBs. It's not even near as jerky and difficult, so. So you notice I've gone quiet again. Concentrating. Doesn't happen very often, does it? Me being quiet. Okay, what we'll do then. Just very quickly. I know I don't need to keep going back to here, I can just go into my menu, but doesn't matter. So one more of those, and then we want one fertilizer bag. It's only 1,000 litres though. That oh, should be enough. I think I've got a little bit left in the cedar. So, right, I'll continue to load this up off screen, and we'll get down there. Hopefully I can get the bobcat on the back as well. Just thinking four, eight, if I do four there, another four there, put the fertilizer on the front of the forks, drive that on and then strap the fertilizer down, that will hold the bobcat in place as well. It's a plan. I know you've seen me do pallets before, but these are sugar cane pallets, these are different, this isn't pig food. It wouldn't be so much easier if you just lift them up and place them on. I know it's ridiculously heavy, but it would make life easier, wouldn't it? Okay, let's get this one on. Just want to make sure the strap's down properly. If it does, then I'll do the other four. Like I say, do them off screen. Perfect. Nice, they're not going anywhere. That's right, isn't it? I'm sure the cedar takes 17,400. 1,400 fertilizer, so that's 16,000 litres. 2,000 litres for each one. Yes, yeah, eight, eight, eight crates. Yeah. I may have just completely overdone this. I have also been told by loads of people I'm going to have way too much sugar cane. It's not for me, it's for a contract, it's for Matt. He's opening a sweet shop, he needs the sugar. I mean, it's going to be a lot of sugar, let's be honest. I hope it's a big sweet shop. So that's to be more like a sweet warehouse, the amount I'm going to be providing. But it should be quite lucrative, so that's the main thing. Also a good test for if I do, when I do, an America map. Um, doing it on a, you know, maybe a larger scale, who knows. Anyway, I'll see you in a minute when this is all done and loaded up, and we'll see if it works. So, as you can see by the the back of the uh, Man 37 the Bobcat's not on there it didn't work um, I tried, tried to strap the pallet down that didn't go well I'm glad they were all strapped down um, I tried to strap the pallet down and it wouldn't allow me to with it on the forks so I thought okay it would be fine I'll just leave it on there as I lifted up the, the back and it tipped up to pull onto the back with the hook lift, the forklift, uh, the bobcat fell off the back. Um, so it didn't work. So it took me a little while, I've driven the bobcat over separately, at about 12 miles an hour. Now I'm gonna take the pallets over. And while I'm doing that, a couple of the contracts have come in. I've had a few different contracts come in. If I don't mention your contract, it doesn't mean I'm not going to do it necessarily. Some I might not do. I have said that before. Um, but some I'm not I'm not ready to do yet or can't do yet or I need to set things up before I do them. That kind of thing. When I do get around to doing them, I'll mention them as I do them. But these, I need to do some bailing, a lot of bailing. Very different people have asked for bales. And I did say that before. I've had another uh, request for bales. Now this is from Cody. Um, Cody is from Kansas and Cody and his father I assume the family but Cody and his father run a registered Angus cattle ranch um, called Spring Creek Cattle Company um, he's asked, they're branching out globally and has asked I have to say for a f well, what's up you talking Mr Tony um, 
for not too many bales actually he's asked me for 25 hay and 15 straw to get them going and he will give me 20 um, cows at, at carving uh, season carving time um, so his, they've got a logo for their, their um, Spring Creek Cattle Company that will come up on the screen which is rather cool, I like that. Um, so I'll be doing some hay and straw for them. So what's gonna happen is, in one of the episodes coming up, I'm gonna be doing a load of straw bales. I'm gonna do a load of hay bales. Um, and I've got them all written down, all the people that want them. I've also been asked for, I did mention wheat in the last episode. I need wheat, maybe to do wheat beer, wheat for Celia EG Bakery. I've also been asked for wheat at, up at the windmill. The windmill is owned and operated by William um, and they're asking for 80,000 litres of wheat at the windmill because they need to get some milling done and that's Mr and Mrs Holbrook. So Mr and Mrs Holbrook, William, um, has asked for 80,000 litres of wheat so I definitely need to get some wheat sorted out um, because that's going to become an issue. Now I don't know whether this will fill up just by driving next do or whether I'm going to need to use... Hmm, I don't know. Let's see, if I pull up next to it... Oh, not too close. And jump out. If I take off the straps, whether or not I need to do it with the uh, Bobcat, the fertiliser will do. But I think I might need to get into... Let's see. Let's get into here. If I do... There we go, brilliant stuff. So that, I don't know which pallet's taking it from. There'll be one underneath, won't it? Of course it will. Why would it take it from the top? What? The furthest one away first. Okay, well, it's taken them. That's not too bad. And the pallets have worked out way, way cheaper. Um, so, yeah, thank you for that. Everyone that mentioned it, I should have done pallets first. That would have made far more sense, wouldn't it? And yes, it will do the bottom one first. One. Yes. Thanks for that. So, once this is full, I hope I've got this, my figures right. Seem to have. I mean, to be fair, I've only got this strip left to do. So, whether it will use all of it or not, I mean, it doesn't really matter if it doesn't use it. This has worked rather well, actually. What I'll do, jump out, let's unstrap that. Should be able to do a side on. The good thing with the JCB forks is they're narrow. There are different sets you can get. These are quite narrow, so they should go in sideways on a pallet, hopefully. Which will be this done, which means I can get this off and running. But it does also mean that I can sort out, because the money I've just made on the fuel, get the seed out and I can get some sugar beet underway. There we go, perfect. And I'm not sure where this fills up. It should be at the front, but I don't think it opens up. Actually, what I will do, I don't want to drive over the crop. Let's move the truck out of the way, shall we? That one. Right, that one. Take the bobcat away. Okay, so I'm assuming if I put this over the front section, I've just got weeks to do this. Might not have. Oh, that's interesting automatically do it. Um, oh, there we go. Oh, it's doing it. And that all... Oh, I did fill it. Nice. I think I've done that just about right. How much is left in that? 369 litres. 
Okay, right. Let's have a wait, shall we? Right, what I'm going to do this time, try and keep this on. Or at least try and stop it from slipping off. If I take that up first. And if I put that down, say about there. So what will happen now if I strap that down like that? That will happen. I don't know why that one's strapped up at all. So when this lifts up now, you'll notice this, the uh, it'll move. It shouldn't then go past the pallet. It's not going to move now, is it? Oh, there you go. Look, it's a little bit. If the pallet hadn't have been there, that would have gone. Perfect. Right. Let's put this. And there we go, right, okay. That should now finish this, no problem at all. I'm going to get this back. The pallet fertilizer I can just put to one side for the time being. And then, see it slipping? That's not good. Oh, that's not going to go past that now. Brilliant, okay. Um, so this will go back, uh, now I need to sort out getting the sugar beet cedar, get some sugar beet done and I do need to do contracts and there's straw to do and yeah, there's loads to get, be getting on with. One thing at a time though. Do to have a look on my map and see what's available. I don't need a big, I don't need a big cedar of sugar beet. I mean, to be fair, if I want to do sunflower, but then sunflower probably wouldn't do a huge amount of it either. So I don't want to get a massive um, cedar for doing those. I'll have a look in store, see what's available. Something sensible. That's the thing I want to check out as well. I want to sell a silage bale, because someone did say silage bales are quite lucrative. We shall see. I'll do that at some point too. Because maybe if I do a load of silage bales, that might make me some money too. Well, I just tried the hack. Um, I know it's not good. I I get it. I just saved the game. I saved it anyway because I, I save regularly. I always try and make sure I do. When I start a contract to do something or end a contract, um, I save the game. So I saved the game, came out. What I do often when I'm editing, and a lot of people keep asking me to do a video to show how I set my videos, how I do my, my um, recording. I don't know how many people would be interested in that. That's the thing. Whether, you know, I always worry it kind of ruins the the, the magic of it. I, I'm not a magician, but you know what I mean? Spoiling the magic trick if you show the ins and outs behind the scenes, how it gets done. Um, but anyway, I do save regularly. And what I do is I'll nip out, go into all my, my saves to check how many minutes I've done, how much recording I've done. Um, because obviously I don't want to overrun on videos I don't want to be part way through doing something and realise I've hit my where I need to be for the end of an episode so when I came back in I thought you know what I've saved it let's go back out let's take the tanker let's fill it up and see and as you can see I think I was down to 230 228,000 something like that because I bought all the um, fertiliser and the sugar cane I've just sold it and I'm up to 353 which means I've just made another 118,000 odd something like that so it worked nice happy with that so plenty of money now so what I can do is sort out getting the cedar that was the next thing wasn't it um, and also I'm going to need to get a baler if I'm going to do baling 
don't think I've got a baler. Let me just have a quick check. I'm pretty sure I don't have a baler. Um, there's a few things I don't have. As like I say, don't have a harvester. No. No. Okay, so a baler will be needed at some point soon. Right. Let's go and buy this cedar, and then I'm going to need a tractor. I have to go all the way back to the farm. Maybe I'll get a taxi. That would be a cool feature, wouldn't it? At certain points on the map, you can get a taxi. Or even a bus. I know they had that new bus stop mod, mod that came out a while back, didn't they? Um, you think that'd be quite cool to go to the bus stop, and you can get on a bus, and there's certain points around the map you can go to. I don't know, just... I know it's not farming, is it, but it kind of adds to the whole thing, the ambiance of the map, you know. So, uh, what do I want? Sewing machines. So, now I need one to do sugar beet, and I don't need a massive one. Maybe I could just get away with the um, Faderstad Tempo. I've used that a lot on other maps, I know. I don't really want to go as massive as a maestro i'm thinking i can do soybean with what i've got already mind you that will do corn and maize won't it as well if i want to do a cornfield i do need a maybe i just need to bite the bullet and i don't want to go massive massive not like huge but let's go with maybe a maestro i think uh yeah Horse Maestro is 121,000. I've got enough to do that. Absolutely fantastic. That's good. I don't know why I seem distracted. I think in my mind I'm working through all different options of what I could do. I'm also looking at, you know what? I haven't used these very often. The random trailers. I'll take sugar cane. I'm just thinking for doing chaff if you do a, a corn harvest yeah I've been offered a contract and I, and I have to have a look at it in a bit more detail from the BGA but it's a big contract with, with you know we require a lot of work and a lot of stuff is a big undertaking um, which I'll talk about in a bit more detail if I do do it it's going to mean by oh that was what I was going to do get a field wasn't I I was going to look at wheat fields I'll do that in a minute as well actually while I'm here let's have a quick look What's available wheat wise? Wheat is that kind of slightly sandy colour. I think one of the only fields, oh no, 23 and 15. 15 is way up there. This one here has got wheat in. How much do they want for it? 143,000. I can afford that. 5.92. That will give me enough wheat. I should get 80,000 litres off that. 5.92 field. It will also. Uh, I'm trying to think. I'll do a contract on that. I think I will get that one, but I'll do a contract on it. What's it offering? That's a bit better. How long is that going to take to that? 18 minutes. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's do it. I don't do contracts very often. If I'm going to buy the field. Okay. Oh, it's up to 270. Not with the front way on. Let's spray this. This is a bit of a kind of ad hoc. I wasn't anticipating doing this, but I uh, know I kind of I jumped over here. I only jumped over here just to have a look and see what it was like. But you know what? While I'm here, might as well do the contract, reduce the price a little bit, plus get a third size and state on here. Um, which means I know I, I can buy straw, so that's not a problem. I don't need the straw swath off this. I need the wheat off of it. So that'll be for me. That'll be for Celia E.G bakery that will be for Mr and Mrs Holbrock up at the windmill that will be supplying all the wheat I need across the map this field should be perfect I won't need another one so anyway yeah um, I'll do this I will, I'm, I'm going to get the sugar beet seeded I'm going to do that so you don't need to see me do all of this but um I do do these every now and again, a contract here and there. Especially if the field prime. I mean, well, that wasn't too bad actually. 
And if I know I can, uh, I can do a bit more water, I can do fuel if I need to. Um, I'm going to have a look at selling silage bales because if I can do that, as soon as the grass grows, um, oops, let's lift up a little bit. As soon as the grass grows, I can maybe do some silage bales. I think what I might do this time, and I don't do it very often when I do um, certain maps, I might buy the baler wrapper, the one that does it all in one go. I haven't used that in ages, and I know it's fairly expensive, but one good run on the fuel, I think that'll buy that wrapper, that baler wrapper. So, and if silage bales are quite lucrative, or what I could do is actually sell some of the ones on behalf of Adrian, of course, sell them for him, you know. Um, he'll make a bit of a profit on it. He'll make a bit of money. I'll make a bit of money. Um, stupid. Um, and I can replace his bales. That might be the other way to do it. Because he's got some on hand now. And I can make them once the grass has grown. So potentially... Could be quite lucrative all round. Buy Adrian a beer or two down at McConnell's. Anyway, right, so I'll do the rest of this off screen. Um, and I will we'll probably buy this field, I think. Now I've got my cedar. Okay, I'm in the tool shed. Um, and I've got the Fent 1050 up on the ramps. I've just put wheel weights on it. If I come back out of there, what I can do now is bring it back down. Now, although this front weight is actually it's a tiny little weight, but I'll stick it on just to help with it. Oh, my, if I'm going to go up to the store, I can buy a new weight. I'll do that. I'm going to go up to the store. I'm going to go and pick up the horse maestro. I'm going to fill out with seed pallets up there, actually. I'm going to give it a go up there as well. Save myself a bit of money. Um, so I'll see you up there in a minute. We'll pick it up. Then we'll come back. We'll do field six with sugar beet. We might do field 17 over by Plumpton Farm. Uh, I have bought field 15. I did the contract on it. Price dropped down to 140,000. So I've bought that. That's now got one fertilizing state on it, so I'll need to do the other two at some point. Okay, I'm up at the store, so I'm going to do fertilizer first, I think. I'm going to buy a couple of those because it's not going to take more than 2,000 litres of fertilizer, I wouldn't have thought. Um, so actually, I'm going to need to get a weight as well. Did I install, yeah, the Howell weights? I'm going to go with a 1.5 on the front, I think. Buy that. Uh, and then I'm going to go for pallets. So I want one. I'll go with two of those. And then as far as when we're going to seed, I'm assuming one, two, three, four four start with that see how we get on right so let's grab the front weight first then I'll grab the cedar then we'll then we'll load up that looks a bit better let's keep all these wheels planted on the ground shall we This is going to be one of those weird seeders, isn't it? That takes way too much fertiliser and not enough seed, isn't it? Or did I read the amount wrong? I thought it was 9,000 in total. Hmm. Yes, it is, isn't it? 
how could it be that way round? It doesn't make any sense. It's like 2,000 litres of seed and about 8,000 litres of... That's it, 2,000 litres of seed. Right, think, think, think. Right, the weight is going to have to wait. Pardon the pun. But, well not pun, whatever. Let's put it up here. Next purchase, let's drop that. What I need, I'm going to use my tablet, online store. I need the front seed. Oh, what's it in? I can never remember. It's in this. No. Uh, it's in sewing machines. That's it. The TF1500 additional tank. 11,000. Yeah, I need it. So, right, that'll be my front weight as well, won't it? So, and I'm running the wrong way. Yay! Happy days. <laughs> it's all going very well, as you can tell. Perfect, right, so let's increase the capacity somewhat, shall we? Well, that only takes 1,500, so... I'm going to have half a pallet left here, aren't I? Not the end of the world. And it does mean... Right, one more of those. One more... No more space because I'm in the way. Genius move, right? Uh, so, hey, what have I done? Oh. <laughs> Did too many seeds, didn't I? I've got a seed one there as well. Oh, it doesn't matter. I can come and collect them every any time I need them. going to open again as soon as I go next to one of those pallets. If I go equidistant between the two, maybe it won't open. Perfect. Right, okay. I am going to get down to the field now. I'm going to get some sugar beet done in this episode. Oh. We are now set on sugar beet. If I open this up. Shouldn't we get any wheel set now? All looking good.
so with field six complete I'm going to lift that and fold that the seed is now going to go to field 17 up by Plumpton Farm I'm going to put sugar beet in that as well then we'll have a look round at the fields I think in the next episode quick check round see if anything needs fertilising spreading spraying and all those various different things that said I don't think I've got a spreader or a sprayer I've got a slurry spreader that's a good point I haven't have I okay <laughs> more equipment needed um, the case optimum is back the Gessner uh, has been returned filled 20 is now officially done half barley half sugarcane that's ready to go um, I'm going to take this up here uh, yes next episode then I'm going to check on selling a couple of silage bales see what I get for those we may even start on doing some of the straw bales for some of the contracts we need to do um, there'll be some fertilising and odds and ends that need doing that did not I put the brakes on that didn't want to stop at all probably because the wheel weights the weight the seed and everything else but anyway we've come to the end of another episode um, I hope you've enjoyed it if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching <laughs>